Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. This is your brother, Sean Ali, here. Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. Man, for those of us that are participating in Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, right? And that brings me to today's video, short message, which is on a tip on how to successfully complete your fast during Ramadan as well as any other time that you might want to undertake a fasting. And for those of us that are fasting during this holy month of Ramadan, we understand that the foundation is fasting is prescribed. And listen, as I'm sitting out here working, I'm cutting out this window, right? So as I'm sitting here in the early part of the day and I'm working, I'm already starting to feel the effects of me using energy, right? And losing water through my sweat, right? I'm starting to dehydrate myself. I'm starting to wanting to replace that energy. So what do I do for those of you that are sitting home, right? Boredom can make you hungry. A lack of doing something can make you hungry. Right. So what do we do to get that satiety? Because that's where the answer to hunger comes from. The hunger hormone is known as ghrelin. G-R-E-H-L-I-N. Ghrelin. Right. And the answer to that hunger hormone is called leptin. L-E-P-T-I-N. Ghrelin comes from your stomach. When your stomach is empty... It will send that hormone up to your brain to say, hey, I'm empty. I need some fuel for survival. That's part of the self-preservation mechanism. Leptin comes from the satiety part of our brain, right? So when you are eating, one of the ways to produce leptin is to eat slow. When you're eating slow and you are enjoying your meal, that satiety kicks in. And it sends that hormone from your brain to your body saying I'm satisfied and you stop eat this is how you control appetite one of the ways also when it, like I said with boredom or with working we can create an appetite we can create a loss of substance that needs to be replaced and these signals can come from our body the different cells in our body calling for water or food or fuel right how do you turn that off, right? Listen, this is my secret weapon. I carry it in my pocket. Listen, this is coconut oil, right? Coconut oil. There's a, an action called oil pulling. Oil pulling is when you take about a spoonful of coconut oil and you just swish it around in your mouth for about 15 to 30 minutes. What this does is it not only pulls out that bad bacteria, it not only rehydrates your mouth, but you get that flavor of coconut oil because you're not swallowing it. You will swish it around after 15 to 30 minutes, you will spit it out, right? See, you don't swallow this, but this coats your mouth. It takes away that dry feeling. It takes away that I'm hungry feeling. It takes away that I'm dehydrated. So you rehydrate your mouth. You cleanse your palate, right? You, you introduce a flavor inside of you. So now you have this coconut taste in your mouth. You're not swallowing it. You're not breaking your fast, right? So this hits your sanity part of your mind. You're not hungry. Man, I can keep going, okay? Now, I have just cut off that hunger hormone, that hunger sensation, so I can control it, right? So listen, coconut oil family, when you are in that mist and you, you are feeling hungry, dehydrated, that cotton mouth, dry mouth, and you don't want to drink, you don't want to eat to break your fast, you put some coconut in your mouth, you do what they call oil pulling. You swish it around 15 to 30 minutes, then you spit it out, and now, watch what happens. Listen to me. You will rejuvenate, refresh your mouth, your palate, 
your taste buds, your satiety, your limbic system. Because remember, the control of our appetite comes from our satiety, our satisfaction. When we are bored, depressed, lonely, sad, mad, upset. See, these things trigger hunger. When you oil pull, you can regain control. You can get that satisfaction. You can replace all of those low negative frequencies with a positive high one. And you have fresh breath. <laughs> Listen, not only do you control your hunger, but you, are, you have fresh breath. You know that fasting breath that we can get when you don't eat or drink? And now you, your body is using the material that it has inside. See, when you don't eat or drink, your body now, it has to eat the material. It has to use what you already have inside, right? So now as it's using these things, that mm -hmm. exhale... That waste that's being produced, that's what you smell. It's not that you have bad breath from fasting. Your body is using these things that you put inside of it. And through exhale is how we expel. That's how you get some of that waste out, right? That's what you're smelling. So listen, coconut oil. Ha! <laughs> coconut Listen, I'm sitting here working. I'm man, listen, and I'm not doing easy work today. I'm cutting this window because they want to they wanted to replace the window that was right here so I'm coming out and I have to cut through this concrete I'm waiting on the backhoe to come because I was going to try to dig it but this ground is kind of too hard today and too compacted so I have a backhoe coming in about an hour or so but I'm prepping and getting everything ready so we can get these people a brand new window listen and we're going to dig a drainage system that goes down see listen this house man they have this lake back here wow but as i'm working i'm and i'm trying to be successful with completing my fast i'm like man i'm getting parched getting a little dehydrated i'm sweating so i'm losing my water content I'm a losing my electrolytes. I'm losing my sodium. I can feel it, right? I'm losing my energy. Man, listen, coconut oil, family. Coconut oil, coconut oil. Put a mouthful in, a spoonful, 15 to 30 minutes, do the oil pulling, spit it out, refresh yourself, and watch how you can keep on going. Keep on going. Man, thank you for tuning in. I'm your brother, Sean Ali. I just wanted to give those that are participating in this holy month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, this is a way that we can successfully complete our fast. We do it for ourselves. Fasting is prescribed. For all you who believe, fasting is prescribed. Prescribed to do what? Prescribed for you to save yourself. Because fasting is literally the act of doing nothing. You are doing nothing. You're doing nothing harmful to yourself. You're doing nothing harmful to yourself. So now that you aren't harming yourself, your body has a chance to be normal, to be powerful, to heal itself. Man, so at the end of the fast, you feel rejuvenated. You feel powerful. You look young. You feel lighter. You feel like, man, I'm ready to go. The thing is, we stop that and we go back to our old destructive habits. Mm, but that's a, another conversation. I just wanted to come with the tip. Coconut oil, oil pulling, a way to help you complete your fast. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your brother, Sean Ali, here at Supreme Health and Fitness by Sean Ali. Family, I leave you as I came. In the various greeting words of peace, I say namaste, hotep, power to the people. Assalamu alaikum, peace.